You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today we're coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Remember the Flowers. So I just got done watching all the new episodes of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, and I gotta say it has profound, profoundly left another impact on me, just like the original series did. And Oh boy, I can't wait for season two. <laughs> oh my. Anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy, and let's just jump right into it. I need a little palate cleanser to get the sheer existential dread out of my system. That, that show inspires every time I watch it. Okay. Okay. All right. But if there are actual clothes in here I could wear, then this is just this might then this just might be a treasure trove. Motivation is a hell of a drug, and I think to myself as I start to organize all the potential new outfits. Hmm. I have everything nearly arranged on the floor in about 15 minutes. Sadly, most of the clothes look too big for me. I hate being such a twig. It doesn't help that some of these are clearly for certain species of beast men. Still, I was able to salvage a t-shirt and a pair of shorts that don't look awful. Excuse me. I smell them, and thankfully they don't seem like they've been worn much. Uh, just a bit musty, which I can deal with. I wouldn't go out in public in something like this, but at the very least, they'd make, a, they'd make good pajamas. That outfit Cooper brought me is nice and all, but I'd rather not sleep in it. Too sweaty for my tastes. There doesn't seem to be a washer and dryer around here, so I should limit how much I wear my clothes. And once I get my makeshift casual outfit on, I decide to look through the shoes I found. There are two pairs of boots, some dress shoes, and sneakers. I don't exactly have very big feet. Uh, considering how big most of the clothes were on me, I'm not I'm not getting my hopes up. Surprisingly, all but one of the repairs of shoes fit me well enough. Maybe a little tight on the dress shoes and big on the boots, but definitely wearable. The sneakers fit almost perfectly, although they're a bit dirty. Still, as much as I like the snazziness the dress shoes bring to the table, they wouldn't be good they wouldn't be a good idea for the long journey ahead. I'm not in a position to value style over functionality. The boots make some sense though, they Provide some decent protection. From a comfort perspective, though, I think I'll go with the sneakers. Maybe Cooper has some extra has an extra bag somewhere I could bring my own stuff in. The sad stuff being secondhand clothing and maybe a toothbrush. Still, it is nice to call some things my own, even if they were kind of given to me and by a strange man, no less. And regardless, it's a start. I fold all the extra clothes back up and lay them in the, lay them in the crate instantly creating twice as much space in the thing. I know he's a hoarder, but this is ridiculous. Uh, where does he even find this stuff? Maybe I should go ask go ask along on one of his dumpster diving... Maybe I should go ask... Maybe I should ask to go along on one of his dumpster diving ventures. Then I can at least find things that are 100% mine. Although, that would imply I'd even seen him... and even seen him pass next week. Oh. Right. I'm here for only one reason. To get to resume. I chuckled to myself. Man, I am desperate. Once again, I caved to my desires to kill my boredom and decide to clean the dishes. I should probably do that. <laughs> Thanks, game, for reminding me about the dishes. I give up on trying to convince myself this isn't for Cooper. Mainly because it isn't. Because just be he's just lucky that he has, a, he has a bored amnesiac who needs to keep his mind busy. I'm not sure how he gets anything done around here, if he does at all. Hmm. Wow, I really am thinking about him a lot. I say, putting down one of the freshly clean dishes. I guess that's somewhat reasonable. He's the only form of contact I have in this place. It makes sense I'd cling to any sort of normalcy, especially considering how not normal some of the things around here are. Although, that does beg a few questions. Why do some things seem familiar? The clothes I found, the food we've eaten, and even the appearance of this building and the furniture in it remind me of how, remind me of how things are in my own life. Well, from what I can remember, that is. Placing the last dish down, I reach behind my back and gingerly trace around the metal ports embedded in my sp embedded in my spine. Maybe I'm not crazy. It's possible this could be a simulation. Or, rather, I've given the notion that I could be attached to something with these things. My past life could have been the simulation. There's nothing I can do to prove that Damien or Diana exist, after all. But despite it, I shake my head. I'm not letting myself spiral for a second time. They do exist. My love for both of them isn't something that I made up. The fact that they're all I remember at this point proves my relation to them is strong. That's what I tell myself anyways. I take a deep breath to calm myself. In due time, I'm going to see them again. I know it. 
I take another deep breath, although it breaks into a yawn when I go to exhale. Would have thought apartment cleaning for a hoarder, along with having multiple existential crises, would make one so sleepy. Looking around, there doesn't seem to be any readily available clock. Cooper probably just uses his Axiom for that. In that case, I can just use the tablet I found. I'll need to ask him for the passcode. He did say that I could have most of what I found, after all. I might as well get some use out of it. Thankfully, the lock screen has the time on it. It's a little past noon. I've only been up for a few hours, yet I feel totally exhausted. You know what? Screw my sleep schedule. I'm tired. I deserve a nap. It feels like it's been forever since I've had one. And who am I to deny myself my, deny myself of one of life's simplest pleasures? Once I make uh, my totally not bad decision of sleeping at noon, I rub my stomach for a second. I'm not hungry yet, I guess. I can't imagine I'll be out for that long. I was no stranger to eating lunch at 2pm during my undergrad, after all. I remember when I told Diana that I consider 11.59 to be the breakfast to be breakfast still. She blew a gasket. It didn't help that I woke up 20 minutes before that since I was... was... What was I doing? Ugh, I can't even remember having an inner monologue without getting stumped. Okay, that's enough distractions for one afternoon. I deserve a bit of an R&R. &R. I get myself comfy on the couch again. It's not super cold in the room, but I drape the blanket across my legs anyway. I'm still not sure if my body can regulate its own temperature. I'll need to test the limits of my sense of touch at some point, too. But that can come later. And for now, I drift off into a well-deserved nap. Take that nap, boy. You take that nap. There's three of us. There's three of us. Okay. I'm not sure how long I've been out. Uh, no more than a few hours. Even so, I'm starting to wake up. I think someone turned on the lights on in the kitchen. I'm so exhausted that I can chalk it up to nothing but dream shenanigans. It's when I hear the sound of the door open, along with, an along with an irritating creak to go with it. I can't even flutter my eyelids open. I decide to say fuck it and try to drift back to sleep. If I die, I die. Rus... Hey. Mm hmm? Hey, Cyrus, wake up! It's like that the blanket I planted on my head to block out the extra light is torn right off. Ha! <laughs> Cutie. What? <laughs> my body aches as I'm forced to, I'm forced out of my short slumber. That special kind of ache that makes you feel like you're in a slow, then you're in slow motion. D Damien? What the hell? Don't you Damien and me, mister. You promised you'd get up early with me to go running. I limply turn over to look at the alarm clock. It's 5.55 a.m. I said I'd get up at 6. Those extra minutes would have helped. Damien scratches the back of his head. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I guess I got a bit excited. I can hear his tail swish a bit. We haven't gotten to hang out like this in a while, so... <laughs> I exhale with a smile on my face. I can't get mad at him for something like this. No worries, I just had a rough night of sleep. Too rough? Not rough enough to keep me from our date. Damien's ears perk at that, as he dons that big, goofy smile of his. I can barely see him in the moonlight, but he's as adorable as ever. Although, if you want to make up for it, there's still three minutes before I promised I'd get up. Sleepily, eh? Sleepily, I pat the extra space on the bed. Mind joining me? I could use some warming up now that someone snatched my blanket. Damien, Damien snorts at that before circling around the other side of the bed. It'd be my pleasure to be your body pillow this morning, Sai. Glad to hear it. Just know I intend to hit the snooze button at least once or twice. I guess I can let that slide just this once. Big floof. Tiger floof. We giggle as I invite Damien under the covers. His warm fur almost instantly pulls me back asleep. But not before I feel his feline tail curl up around my leg. It's a habit he's picked up from our numerous cuddle sessions. Yeah, that snooze button is going to get a, is going to get a workout this morning for sure. Chapter three, bygone. Are you a person from a bygone era? It isn't until after I press the snooze button for the third to third time that Damien finally coerces me to get out of the bed, and by coerces I mean picking me up and bringing me to the bathroom to get ready. <laughs> Babe. Mm. I groan with my dry throat and tired voice. Babe, do I need to force you into the shower again? N no. I pat his back or a signal for him to put me down. Bes besides, you know I like to shower after, after our runs. That's true, but... He dons that mischievous look. 
one I'm all too familiar with. I was talking more about a cold shower to wake you up. I shudder. That's the last thing I need right now. I know your name is Damien and all, but you don't have to act like the Antichrist first thing in the morning. I tease before giving a long yawn. It's more like the fourth thing in the morning. Someone wanted to cuddle. Who would blame me? Your fur is just so inviting. I cling to him again, face planting into his chest. Ah, my favorite pillows. Damien clears his throat, his voice tinged with embarrassment. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, I'll get ready now. You'd better. We'll miss the surprise at this rate, the sunrise at this rate. Oh no, the horror. Oh no, it, look, it's all broken and on the floor. Once I finally detach myself from my boyfriend, I give myself a moment for another long stretch. I look at the clock. It's nearly 6.20 now. We need to hurry. The sun usually rises at around 7 this time of year. I was looking forward to our morning workout, to be fair. The Arizona winters are more amicable than up north, so it's actually nice that we can do workout together, that we can work out together more often. Although, that's offset by the summers. It's too hot to even attempt to exercise in July. And to that end, we decided to try and run together at least once a week during the winter. Damien didn't complain. His fur made it hard to work out in the summer anyway. And just another thing we have in common. I got some new protein shake stuff the other day. While I get ready, could you make us some? Can do. He beams as he heads out to the bathroom. Just don't take too long or else I'll assume you fell back asleep. He looks behind me to the shower. It'd be a shame if I had to get the bucket again. I reach for my razor before taunting him with it. It'd be a shame if a certain tiger gave himself an introverted mohawk again. Th that was that one time! He stammers to which I snicker. It's okay, babe. You'd look good as a hairless cat. He gives me a laugh <laughs> before leaving me to my own devices. He's so cute when he's flustered. I look at myself in the mirror. It's been a few days since I last shaved, so I am a bit scruffy. I never was one for my own facial hair. Thankfully, it never takes me too long to pretty myself up. Once I finish rinsing the hair down the drain, I go to brush my teeth. I start mentally going over everything I need to do today. This is the one day I vowed to take completely off. Oh, one second, guys. There we go. Okay. No studying, no, dis no dissertation prep, just spending nice time with Damien. After about ten minutes, I look somewhat presentable. Although, I'm already looking forward to my shower when we get back. Time to get dressed. Damien's definitely rubbed off on me when it comes to dressing for workout. The sleeveless top and shorts are hard to beat. I look at the clock. 6.33. Maybe those extra snoozes were a bad idea. I can't let Damien know that, though. He'd rightfully make fun of me. I scan the room one more time to make sure I have everything. I'm pretty sure I do. Damien is on the couch, sorting through his backpack. Hey, I'm just about ready. You got everything? I think so. You? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You sure you don't want earmuffs? Yeah, this temperature is basically spring weather for me. What about you? Don't worry. He pulls up his hood. I came prepared. I just can't help but clutch at my chest. God, that hoodie is super cute. One of my better investments, that's for sure. I shake my morning butterflies out and gesture toward the door. Come on, we got a few miles. We got a few miles to get under our belts. Damien puts his backpack on and tosses me a shake. Just try to keep up with me. Hmm, I don't know. That butt is nice to stare at. Oh wow, someone's feeling frisky this morning. What's the occasion? Oh nothing. Don't get used to it. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Damien winks and we both laugh before making our way out of the dormitory. It's nice to have a partner who's willing to go along with my quirks. <laughs> there's two of us. There's two of us. <laughs> what say you? Want to turn this into a race? Interesting proposition. What do you have in mind? Hmm. Last one to our goal is to buy the winner whatever they want at the cafe. Oh lord, I don't think I have enough funds to handle your caffeine addiction. Guess you're just gonna have to beat me and beat me then, and I'll see you at the, hill at the hilltop benches. And with that, Damien speeds off. Hey, no fair! I'm the one who needs the handicap here! I yell as I, start, as I start trying to catch up to him. It's still fairly dark out, but what's worse is that the nature trail we take doesn't have many lights. Damien told me because he's a tiger, he has better night vision, so I usually just follow his lead. He's tripped only a few times in our outing, so it's pretty reliable. I'm usually too nervous to wear headphones at this time of morning. 
There are a few bre there are a few benches along the path that are that are by the light posts. The path goes around the city, and just by counting the benches, I can somewhat figure out how far we've gone. After the eleventh one, I call out to Damien through some through some haggard breathing. Hey, let's uh, let's take a break, okay? I can hear Damien screech to a stop. His breathing not nearly as bad as mine. Sure, it has been a couple miles. I'm impressed you barely could run a mile this time. I'm some. I'm impressed you barely could mile, run a mile this time last year. All thanks to my wonderful uh, coach. I can't even finish my quip between gasping breaths. Damien jogs to meet me at the bench, handing me a bottle of water. Take slow sips and don't sit down. It'll make it harder to keep going. I know, I know. I grumble gratefully as I drink some water. We're about halfway through our runs at this point, and thankfully it's been pretty uneventful. Damien notices my constant looking behind us. You okay? Hmm? Yeah, why? You're usually tense. What's up? Oh, sorry, not trying to be, I, but running at this time of morning hasn't been the same for a while. Yeah, I get you. That's why we... That's why we'll stick together, okay? Mm-hmm. I nod. A few minutes ago, Damien and I ran into someone who I'm pretty sure was a meth head. Thankfully, it was two-on-one and the sun was already out. But still, I'd rather not have to see Damien bloodied up like that again. It's a big reason why we haven't done this in a while. I didn't, my, I didn't think my first time doing a real first aid would be on my boyfriend. I shake my head, trying to get rid of my worries. This is supposed to be our safe space, and I'm not going to let some druggie ruin that for us. I guess my better judgment, I splash some water on my face. The cool night air does its job and snaps me out of my broodiness. S sigh Phew! Okay, let's keep going. If we want to make it, we'll need to be faster, right? I try to put on a brave face for Damien. We've been looking forward to a day like this for so long. A day where our schedules finally align. He puts on the goofy smile I've fallen for. Right! I sprint past him, but my head, but my lead doesn't last long. Not that I mind, a little bit of healthy competition goes a long way. Damien's got that competitive edge to him, even for a morning jog. <laughs> Silent night is starting to fade, partly due to our excessive panting, but mainly due to the rising sun ahead of us. Come on, Sai, we're almost there! My ability to give a verbal response dissipated about four miles ago. I just give him a thumbs up as I force myself up the final hill. Curse my love for this man. I, I hope he knows he's the, only he's the only person on earth I do this for. Almost there. Almost there. Damien's waving to me near the top. He's backlit by the rising sun. The only thing keeping me going at this point is him. Cuties. I have to shield my eyes from the sun. This transition from night to day catches me off guard to the point where I nearly trip. I didn't even realize I already sped past Damien. Thankfully, Damien catches me from behind before I, before I go flying off the hill. Whoa there, Tiger, calm down. My legs are kicking a bit as if I'm still running, but they sputter out soon after being caught. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks, or a tip if you can, it always helps. Till the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!